You want to get the replay mod in Minecraft, or maybe you got the replay mod, but you can't figure out how to export the videos. It's all going to be covered in this video, and it's for 2025. The goal is for this to work in future Minecraft versions as well. And the way we're going to do that is by going to the second link in the description down below. By the way, you're going to need to do that no matter what, so just go ahead and do it. And once you're here, this is our in-depth text guide on getting the replay mod. That's super helpful because we can update that easily. This video kind of set in stone once we upload it. This article, completely under our control, meaning I can come in here and change anything I want. Our writers can do that, all that stuff. And on top of that, the video at the top is always up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft. Meaning, if replay mod changes how you install it, a month from now or 10 years from now, this video at the top is always updated the most recent version of Minecraft, meaning you don't have to worry about it. It's updated, you're good to go. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click the download replay mod button to go to the official download page. Here, you want to download replay mod for the version of Minecraft you want. Now, I'm going to be going with the most recent one here, so I'm just going to click download next to that. But if you want an older version, generally it's the same for all of these. A download page like this will appear. You may need to keep or save the file. It's 100% safe to do that. And while replay mod's downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below to break down DXYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and customize your server any way that you want. The replay mod will work on your Simple Game Hosting server as well because well if you install the replay mod and join any server it will work and that means you can use it to create awesome minecraft videos as well so nevertheless no matter what you want to do simple game hosting is there to help you out in regards to minecraft servers there's even expert live chat support should you run into any issues with your server so go check out some game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz sgh and start your minecraft server the simple way as far as downloads go there's two more things you need to get the first is the fabric mod loader itself this is the mod loader that will allow the replay mod to actually work in minecraft it's linked, of course, in the description down below to an article ensuring it will always be up to date. And we go ahead and click download here, and that will take you to the official download page. Click on this download universal jar link. The reason we're doing that is if you download it using that link, good to keep or save this, by the way, it will make sure we can get other Minecraft mods in the future easier. We also want to go ahead and download the Fabric API. This is an API mod, a compatibility library mod. They're called a bunch of different things, but it's required for replay mod to work. So we want to go ahead and download it. And of course, link down below, click download here, go to files, and then make sure you sort to the game version that basically replay mod is. In our case, it's 1.21.4, but if it's 1.30 or 1.40 for you, whatever you're watching this video, go ahead and download that version. Click the three dots, click download, and the download will begin. Uh, oddly, one of the things that might change the most is not the installation of Replay Mod, but maybe like the website design. It's kind of interesting. We can go ahead and click Save here, and now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's go ahead and get this working. Now, everything's going to be in the Downloads folder here. We want to drag and drop it to the desktop for ease of use, but don't worry, it's not going to live there forever. By the end of the video, it'll be gone from the desktop. So we have the Fabric Installer there, we have the Fabric API, and we have the Replay Mod. We're going to be starting off with the Fabric Installer. Right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and it should open. But if it doesn't, or you don't have Java at all, like you right click, open with, there's no Java here, we've got you covered for that as well, because in the description below, we have a link to this. This is our guide on getting Java for Minecraft mods. At the time we're recording, that's Java 21, but it may change in the future, and if it does, this will always be for the most recent version of Minecraft. Once you're here, you can go ahead and go through the guide, get Java. You may also want to run the jar fix. It's going to take all the jar files on your computer, like the Fabric Installer, like the Replay Mod. Link them to Java and make them work together. So once you get Java, run the jar fix, and you will be all set. Let's go ahead and open up the Fabric Installer again, right click on it, click on Open With, and click Java. Now, the thing we need to make sure we're doing with the Fabric Installer is selecting the version we want here, Replay Mod 4. I want it for the latest version, so it's already selected, but if you wanted it for a different version, you would need to scroll and select that. Then go ahead, make sure Create Profile is checked, and click Install. At this point, you're good to go. The only reason this wouldn't work like it just did for us is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open, make sure those are closed, or you've never played the version of Minecraft you're trying to install Replay Mod for. For example, if you've never played Minecraft 1.22 before, but you're trying to install Replay Mod for Minecraft 1.22, it won't work. So you need to go play that version, open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then you'll be good to go successfully installed like this. Click OK, close out of the Fabric Installer, and delete the Fabric Installer from your desktop. Let's go ahead and get Replay Mod installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. In the Minecraft Launcher, we can go to Installations up here at the top. Make sure Modded is checked, because if it's not, Fabric won't be there. But if it is, there is the Fabric Loader. If you don't see Fabric here, you can go into a new installation. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com, because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. The most important part, though, is clicking the Version drop down here and selecting Release Fabric Loader. Now, one thing I do want to mention is this resolution. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change this. You don't have to, but you probably want to, because this is going to determine the resolution Minecraft is recording in with Replay Mod. 
right here is 1440p if you went higher than this you could get up to 4k or you could do 1080p which is what a lot of youtube videos are posted at unless you're going for crazy 4k resolution nevertheless we're going to go ahead and do 1440 here because i have a 4k monitor really good computer and i can handle that but yeah that can be a good thing with replay mod lastly make sure install after launch is not checked if launch after install is checked you're gonna have to close out of Minecraft to install the replay mod, so make sure that's not checked and click install. If you get a pop up like this, go ahead and click cancel on that. And now hover over either the fabric loader installation that was there or the one that you created and click the folder icon. Now you should have a mods folder in here. If for whatever reason you don't, go ahead and right click, create a new mods folder. So right click new folder and name it mods, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your newly created mods folder and drag and drop the replay mod and the fabric API into it. Just like that, none of those files that we move to your desktop are there anymore, and you have Replay Mod installed. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and play Minecraft with the Replay Mod, but what if you haven't been able to export videos? If we played Minecraft right now with the Fabric installation, the Replay Mod would work. But what if we want the videos to actually be able to be exported? To do that, you're going to need to go to the description and go to here, which is where you're going to be able to see the Replay Mod documentation and scroll down and click on installing FFmpeg. You see this installing FFmpeg here. When you click on that, you'll see this, which is the Windows installation. And then we want to go ahead and download this right here by clicking this www.guyan.dev link. The download will begin automatically. You will need to keep or save it. You're good to do that and it will download. Then once it's done downloading, we can minimize the browser and we want to move this file, of course, to our desktop. But again, not gonna live there forever, just easier to manage these files when they're on your desktop. Then we again wanna to go to the installations tab in the Minecraft launcher, hover over the fabric installation, either one that was there default or the one you created, click on the folder icon and then move this file we downloaded into this Minecraft folder here that we just opened. Right click on the file that we moved in here, the FFmpeg, this is going to be a compressed zip folder under file type. Right click on it and then just click on extract all. Then click extract and there you go. Now once we're in game, you'll be able to export the videos. That was the missing link. If you had installed a replay mod in the past and you hadn't done this, that is why you couldn't export the videos. Now let's just go ahead and play Minecraft using our fabric installation here that we created and replay mod will work. We'll be able to export videos. I will show you that it's working and we'll be good to go. So here we are in Minecraft. We can immediately see we have this little replay viewer here. Once you have a replay ready to view, that's where it will be. You can also go into that replay viewer and in the top right, there's settings. This is all the different settings for a replay mod that you can change around. But we're just going to jump into a simple game hosting server. And once we jump in game, it will instantly start recording because that's how we have the settings set up. And it'll just record kind of any gameplay that we do. But I will show you kind of if we hit pause here. We can pause the recording, stop the recording, all of that stuff. All I'm going to do is uh, kind of walk over here to this creaking for a second. We're just trying to create a little bit of footage. That way I can show you this exporting process here. Boom. That'll be good enough. If we go ahead and disconnect, it will automatically save the file. You can see it save here. And we can go back and go to that replay viewer. Here's that replay. If you double click on it, it will open it up. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Now, I am not great at uh, replay mod and actually using it. I'm just not. However, what we want to do is go ahead and do two things to get a video to export. One is go ahead and create a position keyframe, and another is create, create a time keyframe. I've never understood how these things relate that well. I'm just being honest with you. But you can go through all the replay documentation linked in the description down below, and it will uh, be able to do that and uh, basically help you figure all this stuff out. Because like I said, I have never, ever been that great at doing this. I think this is actually going to be a frozen video looking at it, but that's beside the point. I just wanted to make a quick video. Then we go ahead and click render camera path. What this is going to do is actually save that video. So we're going to go ahead and do that render and it will now export it all in Minecraft. It's really, really cool. And once this is finished, I will show you how to access this file and where to even see your replay files at. So once this is finished here, we can go ahead and click open video folder and it will open the folder where this is at. I'm actually going to go ahead and close out of Minecraft. That's not required. I'm just doing that because uh, we're going to need to, to, I'm going to show you how to access this if you don't click that folder, but we can go ahead and double click on this and it's a little video. Like I said, yeah, it's frozen in time, but the camera does move and you can figure out how to do this better than I can, I promise. But uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. 
a quick little video just kind of moving around this world there. How do you find this, though, if you accidentally close it out, if you ever want to see it in the future? Well, that's where you open the trusty Minecraft launcher again. We're going to go back to that folder that we access through the installations tab. That's our Minecraft folder, and that's where everything's located. So in the launcher here, we can go to installations, hover over fabric, click on the folder that appears there, and it will open up our .minecraft folder. And then once we're here, we can scroll down to replay recordings. These are all the raw recordings. If you ever wanted to back these up, if you ever wanted to move them to someone else or get them to someone else, you can do that all right here. This is where it's all at, these files. As far as your actual videos that you've exported, that's replay underscore videos here. So there it is. And again, that's accessed by going to the Minecraft launcher, installations, hovering over fabric, and clicking that folder icon to open this up. So if we go into replay videos here, that little video we created is there. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, enjoy the replay mod, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.